Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make a arrow move along a path and reveal a, a trail that's left behind as the arrow moves. Um, starting off here in Illustrator, I have uh, some layers set up. Um, we have our graphic, we have our little trail uh, layers. These are the trails that the arrowhead is going to reveal. Here's the arrowhead itself. And um, then I have uh, some simplified just paths that uh, follow the trail and that's what the um, motion path is going to come from. Uh, you have to create this path uh, differently because the uh, the uh, trails that have the dotted um, stroke uh, you know have these um, alignment settings and and its path is going to come in as like three different paths so you can't really use that so you need a separate path all right so let's flip over to after effects make a new composition 1080p i'll just call it arrows uh it really has to be pretty short Okay, so I just need to import my Illustrator file. I'll bring it in as a composition. I guess let me go copy these layers out of here and put them in the composition we're creating. Okay, so now we have all of our pieces. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is convert our path to um, its position information. So we just right click on our path and say create a shape from the vector layer. So what it's done is it's just made our path transparent, invisible, turned it off, and created a new shape layer. If you open that layer up, you'll see that there's a path in here, which is created of these key points. And um, so let's say we want our arrowhead to follow that path. I'm not sure that you have to create the keyframe, but you can create a keyframe, hit copy, then you go to your arrowhead, open up the position channel, create a keyframe, and hit paste. And then you've just pasted over that data. For some reason, I can't ever get it to line up properly. So you just grab the, uh, you have all the keyframes selected. You're parked over one of the keyframes. And you can grab that object, and it should um, snap right to your path. Let me zoom in a little bit here so we can see. Okay, so there's your your all of your um, oh each of your little nodes uh, for your path are going to appear as keyframes here. Um, and as you can see, our our little arrowhead here that blue's kind of a that blue's kind of tough to follow. Let's darken it down. Okay, our little arrowhead there is already following our motion path. Uh, now, first thing you'll notice is it's not turning to follow the path. Um, so what you do there is you choose the arrowhead and go under Layer, Transform, Auto Orient, and then say Orient Along Path. And then that will cause our arrowhead to follow that path, which is exactly what we want. So the first step is complete. You're following the path. Um, the next step is to reveal your trail as the arrowhead moves. So what I'm going to do here with my path is um, we need to uh, animate it. So we're going to come to the contents we're going to add a trim paths, which will let us animate in the start and end of the path. So let's see. 
And so I'm going from left to right. Let's make this stroke a little bigger so we can see what's going on. So I'm probably going to use the end here. I'm going to start on the left side and go on over to the right side. So going from 0 to 100. So um, I want to align this with this animation. So I want to key, create a keyframe for the end uh, where the arrowhead starts and then create a keyframe for the end where the arrowhead ends. So now we're going from 0 to 100 over that same uh, time frame. So our arrow and our mask for the trail moves at the same time. Um, now one thing you probably want to do here is go ahead and uh, I'm going to shift select these keyframes and add some easing. Okay, so now our arrow and our path both have some easing applied. They're both moving at the same time. Okay, great. And then um, all that's left to do is to, let's see, we have to put our trail underneath our, uh, basically this would be our mask. So we come here and we set the track mat to be the alpha inverted mat of the layer above it. And we have the, okay, inverted, let's see, let's try it this way. Oh, there you go. It's just alpha. Alpha mat of the layer above it. And what that's going to do is turn off that layer above it, but then use that layer as the mask. So now, as our arrow moves, it reveals the trail that it leaves behind. And if you need to adjust the uh, <clears throat> length of your animation, right now we have it at two seconds. If you want to shorten it down to one, uh, you just need to bring in both the arrowhead and the mask or track mat. And that's your arrows with trails animation.